Driving a tractor, climbing a tree, you can find it all at Cotton Top 3. So just a little background on that, uh, the guy, young guy, contacted me here. It's been a few weeks ago. He says, hey, man, I write jingles, and I wrote one and recorded it for you. Let me send it to you. And I said, yeah, that'll be fine. His name's Daniel. Lives down around Jackson, Mississippi. So a couple of days later, he emailed it to me, and I had it in a file, and I listened to it. It was pretty cool. So I put it together, edited it, put it together with that footage right there. I'm trying to talk to him now because I want to give. I would like to give out his information, but I need to check with him, make sure that everything's cool to do that. But real quick, a little background about this video right here. Uh, this was back before I was posting on YouTube, but I was already filming, filming a lot of stuff. What happened here was this is a real wet area. Normally, water stands in here all the time, which is surprisingly surprising that the pines are as good as they are right here. But some real nice old growth stuff. Uh, the 830 was down. We were having to put a final drive in it, so it was broke down, and we still just had our two John Deere rubber tire cutters, and, and at that time, they were about shot. They about done had it, and so I got there. It's very, very cold that morning. You can see, by the way, me and Scott are, are dressed. Scott followed me around as I cut those trees down, or mo a lot of them down. You can hear Chad running in the 843 in the background, as we're cutting there. So what I was doing was, I was just kind of going through there, bombing those big trees and putting them on the ground as quick as I could and then taking the loader and getting them out. Cause basically I was having to stay on top of, of Matt to even run. It, there wasn't no water on the ground right there, but it was just, it, there was nothing, n nothing at all to it or anything. So I wasn't cutting them low either because there wasn't going to be any other machines in there because uh, I was going to take the loader and throw them out. And cutting them low, you get in on those trees there, you get into more sand and grit and the bark because there's water standing on them a good bit. And it just it, it eats the chains up on the, on the saw getting down there low. But, but I've got a good bit of footage, uh, a lot of footage from this. I actually had a GoPro on the on the chainsaw too. I was running two GoPros and my Sony. And so there's gonna be some other videos come from this. Some of y'all is probably gonna notice and there may be something said about the chain brake handle being broke on the chainsaw. Yeah, I was aware of that, but I was still running and, uh, and, and getting with it. Sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. You know what I mean? And while I'm thinking about it, uh, I will not be putting that jingle on every single video. There will only be a few select videos that I that I put that on to where it doesn't get old quick, you know, or anything like that. Because it's pretty cool, and I appreciate Daniel uh, sending me that sending me that clip. So hang around with uh, Scott and I as we cut some of these trees down. I think there's just going to be one tree in this video right here. I believe is what it's going to be, and it's going to be this one one big pine.
Be good. You see that? Now nah, look. Oh no. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. Huh? Well, it hit that tree and sitting on. See. It didn't hurt it though. <laughs> so a huge thank you to Daniel for writing that uh, jingle for me and sending it to me. I didn't even ask him to do it. He just did it out of the blue. That's so dang cool to have people who want to do stuff like that and send it and uh very much appreciate it bro appreciate that uh y'all got to see a lot of the behind the scenes stuff in this video you kind of got to see what i do to get some of these shots that i do the the amount of time and it it gets the shot but it sucks on my part because it slows me down pretty bad to set things up and i have to kind of have people wait on me and different things like that we just can't just run and so there's a there's a lot that goes into some of these shots that y'all see on my channel this video here is probably one of the it's one of the older videos that i've got but it's uh probably to date probably the very best video that i've ever done so that it, that's very cool very very cool I'm very blessed and fortunate to have the abilities that i have over the years that i've learned as far as running chainsaws working in the woods running the machines i always wanted to be one that could do everything you know not just somebody that loaded trucks or or run a bulldozer or run a saw i didn't want to be just that i wanted to be able to do it all and not just do it all but do it well and another little in interesting tidbit about this video that y'all just watched uh it's been a month or so ago i went over 10 million views and so i'd actually this video was gonna be done for 1 million views and i just kept holding on to the footage i never used it or anything like that so uh i, I put it together and i said well, i'll do it for 10 million and so this is kind of my gift to y'all to for my appreciation y'all for watching my stuff day in and day out all right uh w one other thing that i'm gonna do here on this video is it's gonna be a giveaway video also so if you watch this video all the way to the end you did good you did very good 
This cap that I'm wearing right here from Timber Clothing Company, old buddy Luke, he's west of me over here, about 40, 45 miles or so west of me. This is his company, Timber Clothing. He sent me this cap. A lot of y'all know about Timber Clothing. He makes t-shirts and he got caps and and different merchandise like that, tags and, and all. He sent me this cap. I don't know if I'd help promote him in a video. Well, I did a while back, but I decided I wasn't going to keep the cap. I'm going to give this cap away right here is what I'm going to do. So all you got to do to be entered to win this cap is comment down below on this video. Just comment on it. That's all you got to do. But when you comment down below, you're going to be entered into the draw. And I'm going to run a random comment picker. I'm going to throw all the comments into a random comment picker. Contest is going to run from right now, which will be this will be Sunday morning, through next Sunday morning, February the 4th, 2018. So next Sunday morning, February the 4th, 2018, I'll run a random comment picker. If you've commented, whatever you want to say down there and below, you'll be entered. And anybody can win. I don't care where you're at in the world. Where I got to ship to, I'll ship you this cat right here. So don't be scared if you're in Canada, uh, Tasmania, uh, New Zealand. I don't care. Comment. Feel free to comment. Uh, and when you comment, make sure I have a way to be able to contact you back too. Uh, if you don't really use your YouTube account that much, you may want to drop your email in your comment so that I'll have a way to con uh, to contact you. And what I'll do is I will pin that, the winner, I will pin them in, in this video right here. All right. If you like my stuff, please subscribe to me. I'd really appreciate that. If you want some of my merchandise, my Cotton Top 3 merchandise, there's a clickable link right down below to take you straight to CottonTop3.com. I've got four different hats. I've got hoodies. i got sweatshirts. I've got uh, several different t-shirts. And I've got koozies also. So if you want some of that, uh, you can just you can go right down below. Click on that. Take you over there. Also, tons of questions about my stuff. Like these glasses I've got on right here. These coasters right here. I have an Amazon link right down below that has everything that I use. All of my camera gear, my editing stuff, the drone, um, my glasses, my cordless impacts. That way, because I constantly get in questions, people ask me for model numbers or what style is this or what's that. So rather than me having to dig back constantly, constantly digging back to look at stuff up, I just got it all down below. You can look at the model numbers, all that stuff, and go from there. You can either, if you're interested in getting it from Amazon, you can get it right there. You can find it somewhere else online. But again, I appreciate each and every one of y'all who view my stuff. We started off in a mature pine thicket or ended up in a very young pine thicket. These are four-year-old pines I'm standing. I appreciate all of y'all. So as I always end all of my videos, later taters.